Hello everyone, it's Diva the Diva back here with another video. We're doing another little sit down moment and today I'm doing my top 10 favorite Just Dance choreographies of all time. This was extremely difficult to narrow down all the songs that I absolutely love into 10 from a bunch of games that I've discovered and that I've loved. So it's been, it was hard, but I think I've landed on 10 that I really feel are like the most fun that I really just enjoy doing that I get super excited when they get requested in my channel. So uh, yeah, without further ado, we're gonna get on into it. We're gonna get on with our first one, which is our number 10, and that is Take On Me. It's a classic. It's a classic by AHA, such a great song. I feel like everybody, or at least most people know this song. It's got such a good vibe to it. It's so much fun. And then they really nailed it with the choreography and the look of the coach. The choreography is upbeat from the beginning. Like when you're done with that song, girl, girl, ooh. I'm dead, but I love it. And it's just so fun to do. Like the minute that I start, I'm like, yes. And um, the whole like dab move is a lot of fun. And um, the move where he goes like, bah, 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 bah. it's very dramatic. I love it. I live for it. I get so hyped when I'm doing it. So that's when I know that I really love a song when I like get into it. On to number nine, that is eight. <laughs> Nine, I know how to count. Um, we are looking at Sway slash Quien Sera uh, from Just Dance 2. It's nostalgic. It holds a very special place in my heart because I started with Just Dance 1 and 2. This one's on Just Dance 2. And I remember loving this song as a kid and being in my little living room with my little Wii controller going, oh, oh, and my parents being like, girl, what are you doing? I love it so much. Even today, whenever it's requested in my stream, I get so hyped. Everybody gets so hyped because they know how much I get into it. And um, I love it. I love the drama. I love both coaches. I love both of the outfits on the coaches. It's got a really good, like romantic, but like kind of flirty summer night vibe. Um, that was a weird explanation, but you know, it's also pretty simple. There's no moves that are like crazy difficult, but it's just so fun to do. And this song is a bop. So honestly, it's just one of my favorites, I think ever. Um, so that's at number nine because the competition is steep. Okay. You know, when Sway is number nine, but the competition was real steep. I had to sit here and uh, steep in my thoughts for a while to figure out what my top tens were so we're gonna move on now to number eight which is bang 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 extreme so this one's got kind of a story bang 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 extreme is the song that got me into k-pop and if you don't know, I am now a huge K-pop fan. Like, oh my God, I can't stop talking about it. I can't stop listening to it. I've been to concerts now. Like I don't get into things this much, but Bang 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 was the start of that. It got me into one of my favorite genres of music. So it really holds a special place. Also, it's just a really fun choreography. It's nice to like have, uh, cause I tend to lean towards like feminine, sassy kind of choreographies. So for me to like this kind of more, um, I don't wanna say manly, but more like masculine and more hard choreography. It's kind of weird, but I just really like it. It's a lot of fun to do. I like that kind of spinny gold move, even, even though I can't do it properly, but it's just a lot of fun to kind of be like, yay, <laughs> and throw yourself around. Um, it's just a lot of fun to do, and I really, really love it. So it's my number eight pick. Moving on to number seven, we're back with some K-pop, honey. Kill This Love Extreme from Just Dance 2020. 20, 20, just Dance 2020. Um, I added an extra 20. I'm trying to get out of this decade. Let's be real. Um, it's, it's just a great song. I love Blackpink and I love Kill This Love. And I'm just so happy with what they did with this choreography. I'm really happy with what they did with just the, the uh, non-extreme as well. They did a great job with a simple but fun choreography. But this one, they incorporated a lot of movements from the original choreography, which I learned. So it was really nice to kind of get throwbacks to that. But also they added elements that weren't in it, but that I don't think took away from it, if that makes any sense. With this Kill This Love Extreme, they brought moves from the original and then they made it their own and I thought they did a fantastic job with it. It's just so much fun to do. And I love the spinning to like a hard stop that's like a really fun and powerful movement when you like spin and then you just stop and go like like i don't know it's great and all this stuff oh my god 
I love it. I love it. Kill this love extreme. Amazing. You killed it. Knocked it out of the park. Thank you, Yubisov. Moving on to our number six pick. It's Raining Men from Just Dance 2. It's Raining Men is so much fun. The way that it starts with the kneeling and going like this and the powerful with the light. Oh my God. And the outfit. It's just great. It's so, so great. It's it's got a it's a great song, first of all, a great kind of like disco song. So you're already into it. And then just the, the choreography they did, simple but effective, minus those little ad libs where she's going crazy. You know, one, one day, one day I'll, I'll learn it. One day I'll learn that ad lib and it'll, you'll, it'll be over for all of you once I learn that. <laughs> so now moving on to our number five, we're gonna kind of uh, stay on the subject of rain here with the daughter of It's Raining Men, Rain Over Me from Just Dance 2020. So I put these two kind of together because it really did feel like It's Raining Men is kind of like the mom or like the beginning to rain over me because they gave me such kind of like similar notes with the rain in the back and i love it it's kind of like a a new maybe i don't even maybe improved i guess new and improved version of it's raining men um it's just it brings back that nostalgia also um from it's raining men because i think of i kind of tie them together and also brings back nostalgia from rain over me when it originally came out i remember like loving that song and when i saw that they put it in the game i was like oh my god like i know this song and i remember this song and i love this song so i was like super excited about that um i love the coach she looks so cool with her little pink space buns. Um, I love like the, the jacket, like the see-through jacket. The whole outfit is everything. The, the rain behind, oh my God. <sighs> I'm just gagging over it, I love it. And the choreography is amazing. This little like thing over here, you know, going like that. Oh, girl, I love it. And you know, the, the whole thing where you go down and then just up like that. I, oh. I'm feeling it so much. Like, I just want to go and do it right now. I'm like, Xbox is right over here. I just want to. Um, it's so much fun. It's so sassy. It's got so much energy to it, like power and everything. They really, really did a good job with it. It really felt like they, you know, put all the stuff that I loved into one choreography. And that's why it takes that number five spot. Cause it's just so, it's like a little amalgamation of everything I love good coach, cute coach, good looking outfits, a lot of sass, a great song, nostalgia, put it all together, it's rain over me, and I love it. <laughs> Moving on to our fourth pick, which is Voulez-vous by ABBA, uh, which is now on Just Dance Unlimited. I have, I have one thing to say and one thing only, uh, the floor part. The floor part is everything. It's the best floor part in the game. Don't at me. It's so sassy. It is everything. And I would like be happy with a song that is just the floor part over and over again. It's brilliant. It's amazing. I love it so much. The whole song, first of all, is just a lot of fun. It's ABBA. I love ABBA. So that's just already tying back to that. But just, I will, you can't, I can't get over the excitement I get at the prospect of getting down on the floor and doing those sassy like hair movements and oh my god it's everything it's everything i love it so much please give me more floor parts like that oh my gosh please <laughs> so voulez-vous by abba the song the drama the outfit the hair i live for it thank you that is all <laughs> All right, we're moving now into our th top three picks. I'm very excited. We're gonna start with our third one, which is Sushi Extreme from Just Dance 2020. I, as you can see, there's a lot of Just Dance 2020 songs. I really feel like Ubisoft killed it with Just Dance 2020, so I'm not surprised at how many of the songs I love from JD 2020. They're just so good. They're all so amazing. Oh my God, okay, so. Sushi Extreme. I had never heard this song before, but honey, I could listen to it a million times now. It, it, for, it's just such a great song to begin with. It's so fun. It is so sassy. It, a lot of it is just 
it's just a fun song, especially that little middle part where she's like, um, yes, we do have boba tea. I'm like, oh, yes, I love this. I don't know why she's just talking, but I love it. It's so great. And the posing during that, like they could have done some extra stuff, but that posing part, like this whole thing, it is so fun to do, especially the talking part. So I, they killed it. It's full of energy. It's full of attitude, which you all know I have plenty of. So I love to be able to exude it in my choreographies. Uh, so I love it so much. The coach, super cute with her little sushi themed stuff and her little sandals. I love it. I love it. There's color. It's just everything. It's, it's everything. I love it. I know I'm not explaining things very well because there's just not much to explain when the song is just brilliant and everybody can agree that Sushi Extreme is one of the best extremes in Just Dance 2020, if not just the entire game. I said it and I'm not taking it back. Now, moving on to our second pick, our top two pick, I guess, which is God is a Woman Alternates. God is a Woman, the regular one. It's great. It's cute. She's a, she's a spoon. She's cute. She's feeling her oats. But God is a Woman Alternate. I, I love it. I did a video for it a, a few weeks back. You should go see that, by the way. It was, it was a good video. Um, but it is just, I love it. I love it. First of all, I just love that they made a seated dance so sassy and dramatic. I love that because a lot of their other seated dances, no tea, have been a little bit on the goofy side, which is fine, but it's so nice, it's so refreshing to see one of the sassy dances be you know, really like long and flowy and just, you know, so people can really feel themselves even if they're not able to do a standing dance, you know? So it, first of all, that's great. Um, second of all, I, I love it. It's so, it's such a nice change of pace because it's not like this fast, energetic, sassy kind of thing. It's just very like slow and sensual and just, you know, feeling yourself and feeling your femininity and I, I love it. And the ending with this whole thing, you can really kind of, give it your little flair and and it's still yours it's just so great and it's 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 simple which i think is kind of like um i love my extremes i love learning complicated dances but sometimes simplicity is key and really they kept, they left it down to just a few very key movements that really like let you kind of add whatever flow you want i do some kind of harder moves some slower moves it's just I love it so much. Finally, on to our last pick. I don't think anyone's gonna be surprised about this one. Boys alternate. <laughs> I mean, I, I have no words, but I'm gonna give you words anyways. Boys alternate was amazing. It just came out in late May uh, as part of Just Dance 2020, but it, it's an unlimited, it's a, an alternate to to boys by Lizzo, which is just a great song to begin with. I already love the song. Um, and I had already seen the leaks of this song, so I was already kind of learning the choreography before. But it's it's amazing. It is so amazing. It's so like, oh my gosh, it's just, I love it. And I love that they used a male coach and let them have a feminine dance, because I know that was like, it's, it had been kind of done before, but it was so nice to see that kind of like inclusion of, of these types of dancers that actually like ha have such an importance in our, in like da the dance community. And it was nice to see them in including um, voguing, which is from the, the drag community. Um, and I, you know, I've got to like give credit where credit is due. The, a lot of the choreography comes from voguing um, from the drag community. So we have to give like that credit there. Um, but I feel like they did it in such a great way. It's just so fun to do, but it's nothing kind of like too crazy. <laughs> Minus the death drop, which I still can't do properly, but it's so much fun. I literally in my notes it says sass, sass, and more sass. Um, it was, it's just one of my favorite choreographies to do. I, I love it. I feel like it also has so many like intricacies that you don't see on the first few times that you do it. You know, you get the main moves, but then you notice little head nods, little chest moves here and there that the coach put in 
that just like add that little bit of flair. You, everybody kind of does it in a different way. Like I've seen the way that I do it differs so much from the way like another streamer might do it. Like from one streamer to another to another, everybody has kind of found a way to put their kind of like twist and energy onto it, which I think that's like when a choreography is really good, when it kind of leaves in per interpretation open to the dancer to kind of add their own style to it. Um, so it's just, it's great. And I hope it pissed off some bigots that they put a feminine man and let him dance with all his femininity and feeling all of his oats. I really, really hope that that pissed some people off because I live for it and I love it. And I really, really like what they did with it. So yeah, that's about it for us on today. That was my top 10. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, this was my top 10, totally subjective just the things that I love in a dance, which most of the time are just sass, energy, femininity. I like to feel myself. What can I say? It's a good time. Um, but yeah, thank you guys again for watching. Uh, also, please let me know what your top 10 are or maybe your top three, whatever you want to tell me your favorite. Um, I'd love to know what your favorites are because uh, these were mine and now you know them. I am a streamer on Twitch. I also make videos of a lot of these choreographies on my youtube channel so if you want to like subscribe and maybe follow me over on twitch if you want to come in and request all of these i would love it please come and request my favorites now you know what they are and now that's all i ever want to be requested in my stream thank you very much <laughs> no but i'm just kidding thank you all so much for watching i really do appreciate it um and until next time stay sassy bye